You want to know what we're talking about today in Douglas Talks? Well, you're just going to have to wait and see. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today we're going to be talking about patience. Yeah, which is really good because I I need more patience in my life. I'm not a very patient person. Yeah, no, I, I always, I'm always burning myself on like soup or hot cocoa or anything that's too hot and you have to blow on it before you eat. I always just try to eat it right away and I always burn my tongue. I hate that taste in your mouth that comes from burning your tongue. And also I just, I can barely stand it when we have to wait in line at school or something, you know, like the lunch line or something like that. I hate waiting in lines. Like if you said, Douglas, you got to go wait in that line. You might as well say, hey, Douglas, you got to go jump in that frozen lake. Ugh, I can't stand it. I get so impatient. But really, the other day, my lack of patience really, really got the best of me because I well, Okay, so on Saturday mornings, my, my dad, oftentimes he'll make us breakfast. He likes to make he likes to make pancakes. And I like him to make pancakes because pancakes are delicious. But one, one Saturday, he... Uh, he made the pancake batter, but then he had to go do something real quick before he could come back and make the pancakes. And I, I was getting really, really impatient. I could feel my tummy rumbling. And, and I, 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 you know, I'd had like uh, cookie dough before. You know, if you have a cookie, cookies are delicious, but cookie dough is also yummy. Although even cookie dough, if it's got raw eggs in it, it can make you really sick. But I, it tastes yummy anyways. So I thought, I thought, well, uh, well, I'll, I'm going to have some of this pancake batter because pancake batter, is probably going to be like cookie dough, and I and I, so I took a big old spoon and I, I put the spoon in my mouth and I ate the stuff and oh my goodness, pancake batter is not the same as cookie dough. I have no idea how delicious pancakes come from pancake batter because pancake batter is just this nasty slimy goop, and I ate that nasty slimy goop. Ugh. And if I had just waited for my dad to come back and make pancakes, it could have been a delicious pancake. But instead, that mouthful was nasty, gross, disgusting. And it seems like there are so many things in life that we have to wait for. You know, like we have to wait to be an adult, to, to you know, have our own job and have our own house and be able to be our own boss and do whatever we want. You know, you gotta, you gotta wait at school, you gotta wait at home. And, you know, Christians have been waiting for a long time too for Jesus to come back. We've been waiting a long, long time. There's so much stuff in life that we have to wait for. And the Bible says that God has a plan for you, and he has a plan for me, and he has a plan for all of us. And it's a good plan. But we're not going to get that whole plan all at once. We have to wait for most of it. And so I think one of the big reasons why God wants us to be patient is because if our whole life we're just waiting for the next thing and the next thing and the next thing, we're never going to enjoy the gifts that God has given us right now. If I spend my whole childhood just wishing I was an adult, I'm not going to enjoy my childhood. I'm not going to have any fun being a kid. And if all I do is just sit around waiting for Jesus to come back, then I'm not doing my part to help make the world a better place. Yeah, and yeah, I know that God has awesome things planned for my future and for your future, but God has given us an awesome life right now that we should be living right now. And if we're impatient about what's coming next, you know, at the very best, we're just going to have a bad attitude about things. And at the very worst, if we try and, you know, jump the gun and, and try to not wait and do things before we're supposed to, then then we might ruin things that God has planned for us. So my challenge to you guys today, and really the challenge for me too, is I hope that next time we're impatient, that next time we think we just can't wait, that we'll hang in there. You can hang in there. I can hang in there. And if we feel like we can't, we can ask God for help. Because God would love to help us enjoy the life that he has planned for us, one step at a time. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video and yeah, patience, like I said, I can be very, very impatient, but you know something I've been waiting patiently for for a long, long, long time is uh, the new Douglas Talks website. Yeah, it's live now, it's up now, but man, I had to go months and months before it was ready and I just had to wait and I had to wait and I had to wait and I couldn't, I couldn't show it to you guys yet because it wasn't ready, but now it's ready and I'm so excited about it and I hope that you'll head over there to douglastalks.com. I've got all these videos that you see on YouTube and Facebook and stuff. They're also on douglastalks.com, but there's no ads or anything like that, so it's really safe to watch there, safer than YouTube and, and Facebook. And also I've got digital video downloads of all my videos and I got little mini devotionals for all those videos, a little post attached to each one and just all kinds of cool stuff. You got to go over there. Check out douglastalks.com. 
I can't wait to see you there, but I'll, I will try to be patient.